striker. I'm also a, a band leader in a band called Overthrust. I was brought up in a family where they, they loved rock and roll music a lot, uh, especially classic rock and roll, uh, all this. And I wanted to play. And uh, I would repeat one song after another. So much. The northern part of Botswana forms the heart of the country's centrally important diamond mining industry. But a few local towns, such as Lechagani, lying close to the Oraba mine, have in recent years become well known for something completely different. After 12 years of service, Tsumarelo Mosaka left the police force to join a private security company. He's at the forefront of a rapidly expanding local metal music scene. I'm Komulunense Valcha Trust. I'm a former police officer. My field is security. I'm now in a mining industry in Orapa. I've always been a security officer, so I love it. It's interesting. I'm also a band leader in a band called Overthrust. I do bass and lead vocalist in there, I'm, and I compose music as well. <laughs> I'm also a biker. Actually, this is the name that I, I acquired from home, the Vulture Trust. Uh, my uncle called me so when I was young. I love to eat uh, meat a lot. And he was also saying I look like a vulture skull. Yeah, well, this is the rock and roll thing. I was uh, brought up in a family where they, they loved rock and roll music a lot, uh, especially classic rock and roll, uh, all this. The major impact was from my, my uncle, the cousin to my own father, who I actually also have been inspired by my, own, my father. So they, were, they are the second generation of rock and roll. They have some records, tapes, and uh, vinyls. So my aunt, the last born to my father, I, I stole a, a tape for Boston, Boston from her because she was refusing to give it to me. Then after some time, I brought it back, showed her. She said, you are the one who took it. I said, yes, I took it because you're refusing. <laughs> I spent a lot of time with them because they were actually playing music. They listened to a band and then they played. And I would repeat one song after another. And I wanted to play. Maybe probably because it, we took it into passion thing and put some more love and, into it and as a hobby. It took us somewhere. Tomarello has organized a large concert for all the metal bands in the region. It is two days before the event, and his band members gather at his home for a last rehearsal. I got to understand it much better, lyrically, One, two. like content-wise. And that is how I, I was brought into rock and roll. The band members do a brief gear check and tune instruments before starting with a song about violent militias in Africa.
people say rock and roll is evil, but it's not evil. People say they talk about ghost, witchcraft, evil, Satan, stuff like that. Those are the topics that people don't, don't cover at all. Rock and roll chose to come with the different topics that people knew, know about them, but they don't want to talk about them. And in most cases, rock and roll uh, is just associated with the darkness. But it's entertainment. It's not like they are encouraging fighting. It entertains people. It's not easy to extract a message from a, a rock and roll music song, never. But the ones, if you, if you are careful, you find that they are talking about something that is obviously happening. When I write them, I express them in a way that somebody may think I'm, I'm on the wrong side of the law or something like that. But I'm part of the law. I'm just writing this to make people face reality. People don't want to hear that. Much of Botswana's population lives on very little income, and in places like Litlagani, there are not always many opportunities for self-advancement. Tomarello's lyrics addresses difficult issues such as death, suicide, and gender-based violence, as well as hypocrisy on the part of the church and government officials. So we know people in life, we experience challenges. We don't, we don't know what tomorrow holds for us, but anything can happen. For a religious person, those are sensitive issues, of course. Apart from wanting to educate people, the members of Overthrust have from the start supported charity events such as marches for social justice in Botswana. Most of the proceeds from Tumarelo's concerts go to charities and every year they partake in a local charity march against poverty and gender-based violence. People, when you talk about rock and roll, they, they think of Bren Adams, Jeff Lopard and uh, the other sort of Paradise Straits, uh, Meatloaf, Knowing Me, Knowing You, what, what. So we came out with the, uh, the, the, the hard part, extreme part of it, and then they were like, wow, what is that? I can't hear you when you're singing, you guys. Are... So we're a little bit demoralized, and then we just encouraged ourselves and say, no, let's do this. Over time, the band came to be noticed on the metal music scene, mainly by people from outside Botswana. And then we attracted uh, an invitation from Cape Town for the very first time. Uh, Pretoria Jovig, it was a tour. But then still we didn't realize how, how this thing was taking us. They uploaded it also. Now the YouTube was common in our site. And then we were invited to Yesi. That was the very first time by the, our current record label. And there was another guy who also said, no, I want to, to come and play in Germany, the world's biggest festival, Wacken Fest. And then that guy who was keeping on taking me, one day he said, no, I'm coming now, I'm coming to you guys. You probably not seeing it out there, we see. You don't know how, how big you are. Then say, I want to bring you to Germany. And we just laughed like, <laughs> this one is crazy, he's playing. So in our life, we have never thought we would go there, you know, like overseas. Uh, the guy was serious. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. This is Oba Pras from Gansi, Botswana. In 2016, as part of a European tour, Overthrust performed in Germany, Finland, and Switzerland. From the international uh, perception, it's really coming out good because it's surprising. What? In Africa. It gives them that, okay, now we have to go to Botswana, get in touch with them and see what was going on, what made them get that uh, interest to play. Uh, rock music or metal music. We are new in Facebook now, in 2016. It has only 3,000 likes. After Germany, we had uh, over 20,000 likes. Ah, that is the festival that has opened our eyes. We started behaving like a little bit professional. And then we have lots of invitations coming. In 2017, we went to play in, in, in Holland Belgium, France, and Germany again. In 2018, we played in Helsinki and Tampere in Finland, and we played in Angola as well. 
I played so many shows just for fun and to satisfy my, 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 my desires. And the, the band grew up without even realizing until now. We are only opening our eyes now. Oh, this is where we are from there. Tomarello lives with his partner, Tato Yaone, and their three children. They are, by now, all used to his unusual lifestyle. He's a very, very, very humble person. He's caring, loving, you know, considerate, um, calm. I was very, very short-tempered. I didn't know how to control my anger. So I would say he tamed me, you know. Yeah, so I would say he's, uh, he, he's, what can I say? He's my, my super, he's my super angel on earth. You're going to school next year, okay? So now you are, you are bored. You don't like school. You want to go to school. Why don't you want school? <laughs> you know, I, you're about the person not going to school. Hmm? You don't want to go to school. Hmm? <laughs> you come check out my Valsaram Chocola Pivot. It is the last day before the concert. As band leader and main organizer, Tomarello has to take care of last minute arrangements. I'm so excited. I'm just going to modify the, the parts, the, the cover. One of the tasks Tomarello needs to complete today involves what he calls the fifth member of the family. His motorbike. The bike is like a, it's like a girlfriend. So I take very good care of it because it takes me wherever I want. Tomarello's first stop is to check whether the roof rack of his car, which he needs to transport equipment to the concert, is ready. His next stop is the hardware store. Epoxy AB glue. Uh, you would like to swipe? Yes. Uh, no problem. I want to fix the headlamp for a while. He brought me a headlamp for the uh -huh. bike. I know, this is going to work nice. Uh, thank you, bye I appreciate it. Yeah, okay, bye, brother. Very good. Bye, bye. Yeah, thank you. Tomarello wants his bike to be perfect for the pre-concert group rally. For this purpose, he visits Martin Welding's Metal Scrapyard, a place much frequented by the local biker community. So it's going to look nice uh, with this headlamp. This one has a flat one to improvise, but this one is, is going to be more nice because it is a red lamp that is protruding out and in aligned with the headlight. Martin grinds down a metal bracket for Tomarello's new headlamp. It is perhaps not lost on Tomarello that his musical genre derives its name from the noisy sound of metal work. All the bikers around this region, they, they come to him. And he does a very nice job. He's good. I always bring my bike to him because he's the only one that can, can do this one. Now the others, they will, they will, they will destroy everything. Yeah, but himself. Finally, Tomarello's beloved motorbike is ready.
Tomarello still has to work tonight, and once back at home, he gets ready to drive to the mine for the night shift. Well, the Tagal is a, it's a, it's a very nice place, even including some other nationals from other countries. So, as we well, exchange cultures and stay together peacefully, we have a bond and we learn from them, they learn from us, and then that creates a peaceful working relationship that uh, led to our development. On his way, Tomarello quickly stops at the concert venue to check that all is in place. The hall inside, temperatures are nice. It's very decent one. It's big. It's big. Yeah. Yeah. The good thing is that you can you can open it like this and then, then it, it extends. And they extend. It's another space. Ah, that's great. I can show you. He also pops in to see his friends from the other bands who have arrived in town for the concert. Remuda, Bust and Fire, and Bankrupt Souls. The men from Remuda, one of the oldest and the toughest band in Botswana, <laughs> with uh, Dust and Fire. He's the front man, he's also the bassist like me. We are all bassists here. We were going to create a hell lot of fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally, the day of the concert arrives. <laughs> Tomarello, apart from his other achievements, is also a black belt karate instructor, and he starts his day with an early morning kata. I've been a martial artist since 1991, when I was very, very young. And now second and black belt since eight. Everything that happens with me, it happens like a miracle, like a God-given thing. You have to open your heart and be ready for anything. Once his kids are up, Tomarello helps to get them ready for the day. Yes, it is his fingers. Oh, he's, he's hungry. <laughs> Why is he eating his fingers every day? I don't know. Why didn't you ask him? I don't know. I was like, sit here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, mama. Dream with. For us to make it work, we have to meet halfway, right? I try by all means to, to, to be supportive, to be understanding. Even if sometimes it, it, it can be frustrating because I'll be left alone with the kids, he'll be traveling, maybe he'll be home a week, then sometimes you have to travel home maybe for two weeks or a week. But whenever he's home, he tries by all means to be hands-on, to help me. So, yeah. I've already started teaching my children some values. You have to respect people. You, 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 you look yourself into the mirror. And then when you go out there, you look into another person and then see a reflection of you into that person, respect. So work hard for yourselves. Don't think that anything is just going to come when you are just there and sit and doing nothing. You have to try by all means to do something that will better your life. I love him. I love him so much. He's the best dad, he's the best partner. I will say I am lucky, I am blessed to have him. I wouldn't trade anything for him. So, yeah. <laughs> Me be a supportive girlfriend, I, you know, I'm always behind him, 100%, whatever. You know, I, because it's his passion. When, when, whenever he's doing it, he's happy. It's like a therapy to him. I don't know anything about death metal. That's, that's the, the kind of music he sings, right? I tried to listen to it. All I could hear was... <laughs> 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 
It's music. I don't know. <laughs> uh, because I've never been to his shows. I would love to go to his concert. So he said, um, one day I'm going to take you to, to a show outside, maybe Cape Town or Jobek, if there's a show there. I'm going to take you there. So I would love to go to, with him to, 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 to one of his shows. I would love to. The first event of the day is the customary group ride to the concert venue. Tomarello and his fellow bikers gather at a mall outside Le Chagani. There is great excitement when they arrive at the venue. Hey, now we're going to do our sound check. It, it completes me. Without it, I feel like there's some space that needs to be filled. Yeah. The fans slowly start arriving. They include two so-called heavy metal cowboys, members of a flamboyant subsection of Botswana's metal culture. The bands are ready to perform, and first up is Ramuda a three-piece heavy metal band that brings a distinct African flavor to the metal sound. Bankrupt Bandits is a band from Francistown that has been extensively performing since 2009. Finally, it is time for Overthrust to come on stage. While the turnout at the concert is disappointing, they give it their all. Rock and roll bands in Muzana. We are not doing enough to tell the locals that we, there is this music of ours that needs also to be put an eye on. The, the promotion part of it, it is the one that got the, that impact. Because, you know, if you look at some other genres, like House, Kwasa Kwasa, it's been boosted by the promoters around Botswana, even South Africa. Those promoters, big promoters in our country, they could make sure that they consider rock artists. Uh, it would be good. My advice to all the bands 
in, in, in Africa is that let's not give up so early or too soon. Let's try to interact with other genres of music and link with them, rub shoulders with them. People will see us there and eventually our music will go somewhere. Most of the metalheads and the bands there, they did not just get into rock and roll and heavy metal music because they wanted to make money. They got there because they wanted to express their, their love for the music. The audience loves the performance, and the concert has solidly brought Botswana's heavy metal family together again. Yeah, 10 years from now, if things go according to the plan, then I've cleared all my loans. I'd like to see myself focusing strictly on music entertainment. Freedom and the dark. <laughs> 